All right, so we're gonna talk about the coordinate plane. Um, we're gonna just do a quick refresher video. <clears throat> so this is called a coordinate plane or coordinate grid. Okay, it has four quadrants. Quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. Okay, and to remember them, you can make the letter C. So one, two, three, four. Okay, and then the very center is called the origin and its point is zero, zero, okay? That's where we're gonna always start when we're graphing a point. We're gonna start at zero, zero, and then we will walk, and then we will take our elevator up or down, okay? So let's go through a few points. The first thing I wanna talk about <clears throat> is a coordinate is an x, y. So x is the first number, y is the second number. So this is your x coordinate, this is your y coordinate. Okay, so again, your X coordinate is going to be left or right. And if you go to the left, it's negative. And if you go to the right, it's positive. Okay, so just like a, a number line, the right side is positive, the left side is negative. And again, this is the X axis. So those numbers will move left or right. And then your Y coordinate goes up or down, and again, up is positive, like if you're going upstairs, and down is negative, okay? So again, Y up is positive, this is your Y axis, down is negative, okay? So that's kind of a quick review of the coordinate grid. So now let's talk about some things they might ask you, okay? Um, they might ask you to plot a point. So plot point M, negative two, positive four. So the first thing that I would do to plot that point is I would label my X and Y. So I'm going to say, okay, I know this is my X axis. This is my Y axis. So I'm going to start at my origin and I'm going to walk negative two. So I know my negative numbers are left. So I'm going to go left one, two, and then I have a positive four. So I'm going to go up to the fourth floor. One, two, three, four. So I put my dot and it says that is point M. So I label it with an M, okay? Again, your X, Y coordinate, you start at the origin, you walk left or right, and then you take the elevator upstairs or downstairs. <clears throat> um, sometimes if they, instead of up, they might say above or for down, they might say below, okay? All right, so then we're gonna talk about the X coordinate versus the Y coordinate. So it says the green circle, so this is our green circle. So first I'm gonna start at my origin and I'm gonna walk to one. So my starting point will be one and then I'm gonna take it downstairs, the elevator. So one, two, three, four, five. So because I went down, it's negative five. So to find the X coordinate, remember the numbers are always X, then Y. So the X coordinate would be one. So the answer for this would just be positive one. Okay? So now let's find the Y coordinate of the red triangle. So it's the triangle's there, it's not quite red, but it's there. Um, and so the Y coordinate. So I'm gonna write the whole coordinate just like I did before, and then I will pick the Y value. Okay, so I'm gonna start at zero, zero, and I'm gonna walk. So I walk positive one, two, three. So my first coordinate will be a positive three. And then from three, I go upstairs, one, two, three, four. So that's my whole coordinate and I can label it X and Y, and this time they want the Y, so my answer would be positive four, okay? And then the last one wants the X, Y coordinates of the yellow square, okay? So we're gonna go to our yellow square, and we're gonna say, okay, I start at my origin, and I'm gonna walk one, two, three, and that is a negative three, because we went to the left, so my first number will be negative three. And then from negative three, we walk upstairs, we take the elevator upstairs, the first, the second floor. So my X, Y coordinate for that will just be negative three, 
positive two. Okay, so that is your quick refresher on the coordinate plane.